That's an astute observation, Dr. Pearson. It really is, but unless you got any military business with me, I'm gonna be on my hey, way. Hey, 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 stop. Stop, stop. That had to hurt. What a twist we had on the fall finale. Yeah, it did actually it hurt? really did hurt. He did hit me he on the very you. last take accidentally. It happened. Accidentally? But Were you giving him a hard time no, off camera? No, Michael Angarano was one, of, right one of the most talented I've ever, worked, I've ever worked with, and he's he's such a charming, talented, beautiful soul. But accidents happen. I'm telling I got you, clocked and it hurt. you shocked us though because as we learned in the fall finale of This Is Us. Nikki's alive. Nikki's alive. Yes, he is. Yes, he and is. And Jack didn't know his whole life. He didn't know. Well, that's Maybe? what we're going to find out when okay. we come back in January, I think, is what really happened. Because there was, of course, he was assumed that he was gone. But now we know he's alive. So what are the circumstances that he is still alive? And why is he not in the Pearson's, Pearson's family life? And if Jack thought he was dead right. this whole time, I don't want the family to dig him up. If Jack had to go die thinking his brother was gone and then I got another beef Milo okay okay what they made us believe that Jack had a whole secret life with that whole necklace thing with Kevin when really Jack oh. was helping the poor guy with the bad foot yeah. yeah yeah Jack listen Jack is just a good guy he's just there he's looking just out for people out. no matter where he is he could be in wartime he could be at home in, in Pittsburgh he could be helping Miguel he just wants to help people out he's just a good guy but Nally and I were talking about this because that necklace we were like if Jack has a whole secret life over there we we're are in Vietnam if, the, if there's yeah. more than the big three if there's you know big three and a half or big <laughs> there, four. we don't want big three and a half okay. but you yeah. did go to Vietnam to shoot some of these scenes what we was that did. like for you uh, it was beautiful you know yeah. it was um, the country itself was very warm and very welcoming the spirit of the people was amazing you know and, and to to walk the ground where the history happened yeah you know where my father walked where where a lot of a lot of our fathers or grandfathers at this point had had served in, in wartime it was it was very humbling very humbling mm -hmm. to be there what did your dad say about this watching it back you know my dad we we've, we've had long conversations about um about his time in the service for years so it's kind of like this isn't bringing up anything new but what it has done I think is still spark more conversation which mm -hmm. is what the show is so good at doing is just getting people to, to talk like I've, I've seen a bunch of messages come through on Twitter and Instagram where people are saying hey you know my father never spoke about this yeah. and I now speak to him about it or my husband about you know current conflicts and, and, and service members and I just think that's the best thing about what we as entertainers can do is always get people speaking get people Open communicating up. you know opening up and, and, and realize hey we're all in this together yeah and what I love about this the portrayal is so accurate too even just like the calling up of the numbers and all of that we oh, talked yeah. about this before yeah, we're gonna say, yeah. and, and and you said that you know you had it down to you asked all the crew members like what their birthday was yeah when, we, when we were on set that day uh, when we were filming the lottery scene uh, Michael Angarano and I pulled up a web website and it said what your uh, draft number would have been and my draft number would have, been, would have been 13 and I think Mike's would have been 68 and we I just started looking up everybody that I knew and then all the crew members and we were like wow half of more than half of us would probably would have so would you have gone yeah you would have gone and yeah I mean yeah, if Nick Nikki was Nikki was five I was <laughs> I was eight later wow, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's talk about uh, the second act also yes. with Jennifer Lopez, which we can't wait to see. You're going to be covering that for us as yes. well, the junket. But Jennifer, when you were shooting this, mm -hmm. the last scene or the fire scene of the house burning, the Pearson's family home, you were going and shooting. Yeah, the second act it was at the it same was time. a busy November yeah. last year, so our anniversary where I was here with yes. you guys today, speaking about the same thing we're going to talk about in a bit. But for me, I was doing the movie and I was doing the TV show. I was. I'm my plate full. How about yeah. this too? Guess who said she had to work with you? J Lo said, "I'll <laughs> yes. work with one person and one person only for this role." You're her romantic lead. I know. I mean, if that listen, if that's not a boost of confidence, I mean, I don't wow. Know how did, did she call you? Did you hear from your people? Uh, no, I heard from my reps that she wanted me and only me. And then Jen and I hopped on the phone, and, and we had met because she, of course, had her TV show on mm -hmm. NBC, and I had mine on NBC. So we crossed. No, not paths. every people meet like that, my no. love. There's not a lot of cry. You're on yeah. that show. She's on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's mm -hmm. a mutual respect. Yes. They reach out. You have the conversation. Yeah. And then What's actually, the chemistry like? Uh, I, funny enough, we FaceTimed the first time we spoke about the movie, and I'd read the script, and I very much understood the character of Trey. I knew his intricacies. I knew his, like what he wanted and the family and everything. And 
and Jen is such a giving artist as well. I mean, she's this, you know, mega everything, you know, mm -hmm. phil philanthropic work and, and you know, her, her dance show and her, her serious acting and her just everything. She has so much going on, but then it's like when you talk to her, it's just like talking to you guys. She's just, she's just a real... <sighs> Human. Oh, come Lila. on. You cannot compare because, I mean, when I, just I, did. I, when just I did. do interviews Natalie, with Jennifer, I, just I, oh, I swear oh. I can't stop looking at her. Her eyes, her face, her body. Yeah. You're in the How shower. do you shoot yeah, these the romantic shower. scenes with her and not just be like, this is Jennifer Lopez? Lopez. Um, <laughs> you just. I always kind of. I know kinda, you're professional. No, I know, professional, yes, but also, like, I, I appreciate the moments I get to work with yeah. artists. I really do. Like, that's the, that's the most important thing and that's the most satiating thing for me. Yes, she is beautiful. Yes, she is stunning. Yes, she is like one of the most successful powerhouses of, of you know, entertainers of our time. Mm -hmm. But also, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm there making a real moment with her on yeah. camera for everybody I to love see. you got in the shower with your tank top on because that's got to come off. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did. Everything else came off. That's You're like, the yeah, next yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, exactly.